Hi everyone, I'm Lindsay Caldwell and today Press Pass LA is at the Independent Spirit Award nominations and we are talking to Zoe Saldana and Anna Kendrick about this year's nominees. Welcome to the W Hollywood and our announcement of the 2013 Film Independent Spirit Award nominees. I'm Sean McManus, co-president of Film Independent, the nonprofit, the nonprofit arts organization that produces the awards. And I'm Josh Welsh, also co-president at Film Independent. Uh, Film Independent exists to help filmmakers develop new work, find an audience for that work, and to continue creating authentic personal stories with powerful performances. We built a large indie filmmaking community that truly supports one another. And today, we're here to begin celebrating that work. The nominees in the category of Best Supporting Male are Matthew McConaughey, Magic Mike, David Oyelowo, Fiddle of Nowhere, Michael Pena, End of Watch, Sam Rockwell, Seven Psychopaths, and Bruce Willis, Moonrise Kingdom. The nominees in the category of Best First Screenplay are Rama Burstein, Field the Void, Derek Conley, Safety Not Guaranteed, Christopher Ford, Robot and Frank, Rashida Jones and Will McCormick, Celeste and Jesse Forever, Jonathan Lysecki, Gaby. The nominees in the category of Best Feature are Beast of the Southern Wild, Burning, Keep the Lights On, Moonrise Kingdom, and Silver Linings Playbook. We are honored to announce this year's Robert Altman Award, which is given to one film director, casting director, and ensemble cast, Starlet. Director Sean Baker, casting director Julia Kim, ensemble cast members Dre Hemingway, Basetka Johnson, Karen Karagulan, Stella May, James Ramsey. What makes the Independent Spirit Awards unique from mainstream film? Well, I'd say, um, you know, one, uh, the, the films that get nominated uh, tend to be lower budget. They tend to be, um, you know, uh, auteur driven. Um, they're not uh, films that are necessarily created for a mass audience. There's not tons of sequels. Um, you know, the, the, the Spirit Award nomin nominates and recognizes the artistry of filmmaking. And, you know, with, with this year's uh, presenters, why did you guys select Anna Kendrick and Zoe Saldana to present? Well, the, in common. The, these, we were so happy to have all three of them here today, and all three of them have been working in independent film. I mean, they're known for bigger films, but also they're, they're constantly making beautiful independent films. Anna was in one of the films that's nominated this year, End of Watch, and uh, they're real friends of independent filmmakers and of film independent, so we're honored to have them here. What can we expect at this year's awards? Anyone in particular host? It, what kind of surprises? Anything? Uh, too early to tell. Come back in like a month or so. There will be surprises. There's right. always surprises. What can uh, film independent lovers expect coming up? Where do you th where do you see the future of independent film going? Where do you think it's at now? I, I think uh, more and more we're beginning to see um, that filmmakers are in control of their work even more. I mean, you can um, make a film for, you know, on, on such a smaller budget than you used to be able to. You can create your own kind of connection with your audience. Um, and that's really terrific. Um, the more that filmmakers kind of learn how to market and distribute their own films, the more power they have. And um, we're all into helping artists kind of um, realize their dreams and continue to make great art to inspire us. Thank you so much, guys, Thank and you. Uh, we look forward to the show. Thanks. <laughs> Great. In your opinion, you know, the Independent Spirit Awards are so different from mainstream film. What do you think makes them so unique, independent films? It's sort of like they're, the Independent Spirit Awards, sort of like the young little geeky genius, you know, kid that sits in the back of the classroom that you want to be you want to be very mindful to not say anything stupid or lie because he'll remind you that that's not true it's like it's it feels like it's 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 that award season that reminds us all to, to remain grounded and to not oversee things just because they come in a smaller package and it reminds us that we are filmmakers whether whether it's a big package or a small package we have to recognize good
good films, good stories. Yeah. You definitely seem more laid back and casual. Now, speaking of films and projects you're working on, what can you tell us? What can your fans expect coming up from you? Um, great things, I hope. Uh, Star Trek. Um, I did also a film called Out of the Furnace with uh, uh, Scott Cooper directing, and that was that was a treat. That was a, and I learned a lot. I worked with a lot of. Amazing actors, uh, Christian Bale, Forrest Whitaker, Casey Affleck, Woody Harrelson. Boring, boring, boring people. Yeah, yeah. Smart. Um, I also got to work with, with a good friend, uh, uh, Guillaume Canet, who directed a film in New York this summer called uh, 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 Blood Ties. It's a, it's a working title, by the way. So he, he always wants me to say that. <laughs> and uh, so I'm, I was very hard at working this year, but I, I'm also very proud that I was a part of great stories that I, I really hope that it gets they, they get recognized as well as these films these year. Thank you. Thank you so much. Press Pass LA, nice to meet you. Yeah, all right. So in your opinion, what makes independent films so unique from mainstream films? Why are they so you know, fun and free, they're so relaxed, especially at the Independent Spirit Awards. Well, I mean, I think it's, it's, it is the spirit of it, the spirit of independent filmmaking, like, it's really like, hey, we have, we have to use our creativity, we have to rely on our creativity, because budget, we don't have the budget, so sometimes when you, when you have limited amount of resources, you have to use your ideas even more, so it's like a lot of creative ideas come up, and sometimes some of the best things happen when, you know, you didn't have as much time to, to, to sit and think and, and think this over and, and add so add a different effects. It's just like you, it's coming from the, the heart of the art, you know, and, and I think that's what independent films brings. I love that, the heart of the art. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I just came up with that, but I'm glad. Genius. We're going we gonna, to we gonna both use that. Yeah, in a song. Yeah. I, can feel, I can feel it coming up. <laughs> Speaking of songs and music, what, what can we expect from you? What are you working on now? I'm working on um, a new album that will be out ne next year. Um, and um, even a mixtape on the music side I'm doing, it, which will be my first mixtape. Um, we just launched my new website, thinkcommon.com. Also, um, a f the film, of the, the first independent film that I'm in and also a producer on, it's called Love. It'll be out January 18th. Um, and it's a real dramatic story, a tragic story in its own way about a young man's coming of age and I play his uncle who really leads him down the wrong path so anyway it's it's, it's a great film love you all should check that out um, and then that's it that's what I got thank you so much and so congratulations your film uh, end of watch was nomin uh, nominated uh, what was going through your mind like are you excited well, I, I knew that I was gonna have to say Michael's name and um, so I was trying to be very even I tried to keep my voice and face exactly the same as it was for all the other nominees um, yeah although I did consider you know, like throwing up a number one really quick or something. Not biased at all, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> so what do you think makes uh, independent films so different and unique from mainstream films? What is it about it that's so fun and different and uh, freeing? You know, as far as the experience of making it goes, which is, you know, um, you know, the thing that's closest to to my heart, I guess, um, you know, it's just generally that if you're making an independent film, everybody that's there is there for the right reasons and, and wants to be there and, you know, you're all trying to achieve the same goal and you're all um, really ready to um, take risks together. Um, so, you know, I think uh, that's been my experience of it. I've been nominated twice and I've presented twice. Um, so, you know, uh, the Independent Spirit Awards was uh, was the first award show I ever went to when I was like 18. Um, so it's been it holds a very special place in my heart. Um, and you know, they they do amazing things and they shine light on a lot of films that um, wouldn't be recognized anywhere else. So it's you know they're doing the Lord's work. Well, that wraps it up for us at the W Hotel. Be sure to tune in to the Independent Spirit Awards airing February 23rd on IFC.